Welcome back. Two incredible teams going head to head. We got Falcons taking on Team Spirit. And these two teams have only played against each other once. That was in Dream League Season 22, where Falcons were able to get the victory. And uh, one thing that needs to be said as well. Oops, bottom lane sneaking. Yeah, first blood. Got him. Sit down from Mira. About the Bloodseeker, he's really having a good time. This yeah. is one of the highest armor heroes in the game, but you are playing versus mostly Magical Viper. Uh, top lane Mal Reed. Orient here. They're going to be able to keep back from Poshkar. They've got the lasso as well for the Bloodseeker too. Nice rotation coming up from Mal Reed early on, and they're going to be rewarded. A double kill for Falcons. You were, you were just saying, Yator having a very good start to the game with the Bloodseeker, but... And uh, Malrin, he's just rushing travels. That's the good old school mid lane bat rider. Might be dead. DD though. though. It will be. Telekinesis from Mira is going to send him a little bit closer to the ink swell target. This could be a tower. And this tower is going to go down, yeah. <laughs> this is literally tower, yeah. With the double damage. Bottom lane, no collapse. So, with all the support showing mid collapse, going to try and TP out. Nice oh. read. Bloodseeker couldn't really contest him, and he might get to Poshka here. Poshka has no TP. Guess the wisdom. You're happy with this, I guess. Maybe even uh, that pretty dies on the other side. No, they might be able to get a kill on some Poshka though. It looks like that'll be the. Never mind. Okay, mass TPs. Lol. Along with Mira. Skitter oh. getting the kill maybe here. Let's see. Poshka is joking him. Okay, never mind. Maybe they're going to be able to get the Dragonite instead. Sticky starting to Ooh, stack up. Nice Bloodseeker rotation out of your tour. If they got any stuns, they do. Mira steps in. Telkinesis was just back off cooldown. And just a bit too greedy from Falcon. Crippled There's a Nebo silence. Nebo is going to see him now. Actually, there isn't. Okay, never mind. Oh, are they going to be able to keep any more extra Nervous. vision? Yeah, he's gone. All right, even Lasso. <laughs> That's like... Yeah, look. We're sick of you having Sakuchi. Seems like both sides have this read that a clash is about to break out mid lane though. Everyone's looking to try and TP in, but the Telkinesis is going to be able to respond. I'm um, a crit attempts for the roll and look at all the AoE magic damage without the BKBs. There is no response. Collapse goes in a heartbeat. Now Maposhka as well is going to be in some danger. Crit's Earth Spirit has come to the party. Mirror might. Oh, Yatoi wants to enter. Double rupture. And now they're going to try and turn to Amara as well, but Crit wants to go back in. Yator is in some danger with the Spirit Vessel out and skied off freely, right clicking. Yator will go down in the tree line. Lao's gonna still attempt to jump over the top. He should have the damage required to kill off Melrine. Skeeter. Now Skeet is the sole survivor on Falcons. He'll be fine. No damage. Right? And they're going to. A, he might be tough. To oh, maybe with Collapse, they might be able to cut through him. And in fact, having the chain control was just far too long. Yeah, the inks, well, uh, I'm not sure. One of the stuns probably should sure, have been saved. Now the Sakuchi, now Lol. He's going to be in as well. Melreen, uh, punished for that greedy attempt to try and shut down Mira. And now Yutori with the angle. Unable to find Skeeter. Crit is in. So he's going to be able to escape. Crit's going to try and create as much chaos as he can with the Magnetize. It might be enough to get the kill onto Mira. Looks like it will be that way in the end. Big advantage with one BKB being on cooldown. They've got a great observer that's getting at two supports as well from Spirit. Maureen is going to be able to get the initiation onto Maposhka. Lasso gets stolen and Mira, he just wants to keep his own life so he can look to use this spell. Maposhka's doing a good job to Still alive. Really make him work for the kill. They're actually going to go in though. Can you still fight without the BKB? Lau gets a great stun onto two thanks to the soul bind. But he's going to try and tip you out and Crit's going to be there in his response. It's just a difficult call for them to make. Yator really didn't want to fight, but it seemed like everyone else on Spirit were ready to go and just in two minds. I feel like when this hero is picked, mid lane crit. Unfortunately, not to make it to the high ground. They're gonna get him. I mean, they're coming, Radiant. It's taking a while, but a little bit too slow. Do you want to fight without him? Oh, oh Malray, oh, look at that. Wow. That was debate. Debate. <laughs> what? What just happened? No, no way. That My mid lane disconnected. Most awkward interaction <laughs> I've seen in so quite a while. <laughs> Yo, that's what? the best. My mid lane disconnected. And he's completely separated from the team. Amar's got 2600 health. It's not an easy kill. 
but looks like they're going to be able to bring him down before the rest Aldrin. of the response is there. Melry still is able to get the jump in, but everyone out, I mean, they're not there. Skeet is actually hitting a T3 tower mid lane. Melrain's still going to be chased down before he enters the high ground. And Skeeter it, doesn't really get that much done. Yeah. It's going to be crit that's running past. Yeah. It's so much damage. Like even, even with the major damage dealer in the Bloodseeker, just the rupture was there. It was still enough. Snaking. Any detection? detection? Okay, she's got it. They are so oh, slow oh. with dust. They will catch okay. very well. Roche is up. Look at mid again instantly. Skid is doing a really good job to always be this nuisance of you're potentially ratting. No oh, rupture, so Skid should be fine. It was second Roche, though, so ages onto the blood. Oh, he's in again. Skid Wait. Wait. What? By the time they walk it down, bottom lane, though. Actually looking for the setup onto the Crystal Maiden. Snaking again is going to be really frustrating with the Glimmer Cape, but it's not going to matter in the end. They'll get the kill onto the support. We already see Falcons are continuing to get out on the map. Crit is attempting to cut bottom. Next fight, so that's right. We will have an agony. And Lorraine. Oh, oh, Tries to get though. the jump in. No one is there. What? what? Sure, like that initiation from the Batrider, even if he catches him, there's yeah. like no heroes around. Yeah, no heroes around and everyone is coming, everyone is coming. They're they're connecting on him. They have vision on him. They have vision. You're not gonna he's be able to kill him before the team shows. They're still gonna try. Skid is doing some decent amount of damage. They're gonna be able to get the lasso out as well. Now Spirit will be able to enter through the portal, but the damage on Lao, it's too fast. They got him. He's got a buyback if they want to force it, but he doesn't have Elder Dragon form. I don't... Crit as well. Let's see crit. Intercepting the retreat. Collapse is going to be able to stand strong. They'll turn to be able to deal with crit, but Amara's in a great position. The poison's starting to stack up. And with the beacon Switchies. expiring, surely this is a difficult fight. Yutori's going to be able to activate his own, but it's not good for Spirit. Yutori finally is going to be able to lock onto Maybe a target. Looks to deal with one, now try and turn to the Weaver. How did he get the life still up? What was the health bonus? Skid is still alive. Finally, he's going to go down. The time left wasn't there fast enough. And now Lyle's back in with the buyback as well. A huge extra addition for them. But Amar, I mean, you are yet to deal with the Viper. Amar goes untouched. And Melrin is ready to rejoin. Multiple buybacks from either side. They recognize the importance of is this, this team fight with Roche potentially up for grabs as well. A die back onto the dragon. I collapse his back in once again. Any stunners? Amar's actually going to cancel the TP. They recognize this is an opportunity to get a full five man wipe. They'll kite the static link and they can go back in afterwards. Unfortunately, nothing collapse can do. He'll get a kill, maybe a second. They're pretty hesitant. Okay, maybe there's a lot he can do. Collapse is a difficult kill without a doubt. <laughs> Wait, can I kill him actually? Hang on. They should be able. Oh, there's a I, Rubik buyback. You can make a buyback on my Poshka, but it might just be too late. The poison's up, and yep, they've got him. Oh my. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Maybe Team Spirit still can't change things. Lapse isn't currently here if they're going to try and take the fight. They'll dump everything onto him. Nicely done from Crypto. That freshly completed set is going to be able to protect Skeeter. And now Amar's into the middle as well. But they're done. So they are just gone. The meat grinder they all run into. Collapse is okay for the moment, but BKB is out. And he in. will be killed off. There are no buybacks, and this should be game one. Literally game one. He cannot creep skip the one that's already in. Miposhka alone? It doesn't matter. GG is called. That's it. Game over. Oh, this has to be. Okay, so we what needs to be said is that Team Spirit looked much better than yesterday. And they played a much better game of Dota. Nice man. Yeah. Nice little snowball, but it's still becoming um, better and better for Falcons. First die charge, the do connect. Okay. Yeah, and collapses, right clicks are really stacking up and... Maybe another one. I don't the know team. if they can get crit. Snowball's actually back up, all right. Yeah, they can. Under the tower, they go and collapse with the Underlord. The right clicks alone, you can't steal enough damage fast enough from Grazer to deal with that. Okay, Nikoshka. Yeah, but Yutori's gonna step in and 
I mean, if he gets lucky, actually might be able to get the kill into Skido. Uh, oh, definitely with the cookie bashes. here. Nicely done. Really cool play from Yutori. He surely he's going to get it. Okay, there we go. There's the bash. And one thing that I'm noticing in this game, at least, no stacks on either one of these sides. Stop playing Amar. Stop playing Amar? Yep. Nice. Again with the snowballs. Whenever the jump is used from Crit with the rebound. And we also got a kill on the opposite side of the map. Wait, no mind. We'll cancel now. Is this the OG thing we saw where they were zero and three? Wait, no. <laughs> okay, he's all right. Might, and now come after be. the body blocks. No way. Snowball's up shortly. No, may think of it. Yeah, they're going to go for it. Okay. Amar's got the Lotus to be able to eat. So Mira's going to die under the tower, but the return kill is there. We will see no ring respond. And he's got a double damage run as well. So this trample's going to do so much damage. But Porsche oh, could attempt nice the cookie. cookie. It actually gets him out of range. Melring did think he needed the pulverize. And now Claps, he's bringing a brother. Who's coming through? It's your Toro. He's got the chrono for quiet. They've even got lol here. Sniper comes out of nowhere. Skeeter with the early song. It's not going to be enough. Some high level plays being made from on both Damn. sides. Bringing some early rotations, but... Okay, it's not used too much like i see every now and then bot lane sneaking it's still not six so should be an easy kill yeah but it's not yeah but it takes them a bit and they've got to go deep under the tower so crit's going to be able to catch him a post got meanwhile as well mira's tp is going to be cut short thanks to melreen also rotating and yeah this time yeah. he's not going to mess around pulverize will be used he's not going to give them any chance like we saw up top void is tipping in here as chrono and he's going to use it Rao's in, not even going to require the assassinate. They'll even gifted kill you to Yutoro as well. Crits are soaking his level 6 as well, so he can TP top if they want to take the fight. Oh. Mars doing a lot of damage to Yutoro, who level 1 time block. Oh. No, no, if he no can... TP, no TP on him. He's dead. We oh, got a glimpse of him. Hey, he's got Just plasma anyway. Yeah, he's dead. Wow. I mean, that is a huge solar kill for Mara. Meanwhile, as well, That's... Static Storm, like you were saying, with Melrin's rotation, and all of a sudden. Falcons have been able to offset that slight advantage that Spirit had accumulated off the back of the lane in crit? stage. Crit? Mid lane? Crit? Yeah, what a no mana, hero. No, no mana on Larl. Like, if you aren't connecting with all of them, tends to suffer, especially on, on this hero. On currently lowest of the pores. Void does get him with the snap. Right? Like you have this chrono, it's up again in 20 seconds, and then you commit with the snapfire. Snapfire that might die again, though. Yeah, but no. Nah. You see the rotations in, so this time it's a little bit too deep, and your Tor is already here to respond. Glimpse will get them away. But of course, disrupt them once again for snaking. You only lost the position five. You forced a lot of Mid rotations. Chronos here into the rift once again. And the damage is going to come to you shortly afterwards and almost everyone pops out of the rift. They're using this rift in such a good way. They're really abusing it. Now bottom now as well, Melreen. With Poshka, with Yulti, plus the the assassinate. Yeah. This should be enough. Should it? Melreen? The snowball's there. There's He's still going to be able to get out of way. The shards blocks him off. Perfect placement for Mira. It's not enough just yet. Maybe not perfect, it blocked him. Collapse has got the pit though nonetheless, so they're still gonna be able to catch him in the right of the tree line. Assassinates back up. Finally, they'll get the kill, and it looks like Crit as well is gonna give his life over, and the Ancient Stack too. Uh, they find the Poshka as well. And he did not also get the Wisdom Room. Oh, they're coming to defend him. It's just collapsed with the portal, but everyone else is relatively nearby. Now with the kisses as well, they're going to be able to catch Crit under the tower. Alright, well, we're post creating a free kill, apparently. He dies really fast, though. If they go on him, if they manage to catch him properly, he dies super fast. Two pops, though. they should know. Lar. Let's see how quick the portal's going to be. It's Glimpse is there. Maybe Glimpse back, they might need to use it now. The jump in, deep under the T2 tower, but the snowball's going to disrupt them a little bit. It doesn't matter, Melry charges huge! Crashing into the middle. Can they deal with the second life? Because they're all clumped up, so Skeet is not going to give them the opportunity. The song into the reset. Do they actually want to try and take the fight? What's the call on Falcons? Dutoro's going to try and jump over to Snaking. Mar is zero. With the Chronosphere, it's going to be difficult. Melrain will go back in. Now Crit lines up the stun onto two as well. Once again, the stun lock from Falcons. They sense an opportunity to be able to come out on top. They might be able to get Dutoro, but the glimpse 
Still on cooldown for snaking, but what a team fight. It's easier for Falcons. This ward down on, on the cliff, the ward in the They're triangle. Coming. They're gonna be able to blow your turret up with the static storm laid down. If they got the damage, it looks like they do. Still no BKB to be able to protect him. The Rift is in and they want to take a fight, but Crypt protected with the BKB. He's going to be able to assassinate him and push going to the back line. We do also see Snaking goes down, but it does not matter. Collapse. Then you, there's just no team fight to be had. Collapse doesn't make it to the portal. Crypt stops him short at the buzzer. Anyone else? And this, it's starting to get ugly. And full ward, full vision. And they're going to be able to get another start. Yatora is here to be able to land the Chronosphere. Rift will come out. They've got the Kisses as well. Maori does a pretty good job to stop the Kisses. So they will lack the damage onto Skier. Do they want to try and take the fight though? I mean, they know no Chrono. And maybe that's the only read they need to be able to go ahead. Amar's been able to address Lau. And now that they're on top of the Sniper, Lau can do nothing. Attempts a concussive grenade, but it's not going to matter. They held Yatora down as well. Collapse won't Hex. even be able to TP out. That freshly completed Hex is there to stop him short. And once again, Falcons this time, they've got a Chrono to work with on, on Spirit, but they are way <laughs> too far behind. Smoke, though. The Primal Beast did just TP top. I, they don't know this, but it could be an okay opportunity for them. But the is going to run down Collapse. Look at the damage. Oh my god, Collapse is gone and everyone else just splits away. Mirror's going to get hunted down as well. Snowball into the way. Yatoro's still sticking around. Yatoro. I mean, he's going to think about dropping the Chronosphere. Melraid's not going to look to try and charge. Skinner tried to get in range for the song, but still with the kisses. He was too far out of range. But now you need to retreat. And Yatoro's BKB is about to expire, so he will not be able to. The damage from crit. He goes in a couple of swipes. And yeah, Amar's like, well done, brother. You killed me. But what is the cost? You're going to lose three heroes. You've got no ultimates. Your base is about to be seed. Skitter might even lose his Aegis. Let's see, there is an ulti once again. Only the range Raxes. Jump in, Mira. See, I'm gonna... Alright. Apparently, Chris just gone. And now they're gonna lose the drop though. What? <laughs> just two supports. Happened. Yeah, two supports just... Give a nice high ground what that sees crit, and Spirit are actually looking to try and take the team fight. Snaking, where's your goal? Assassination once again of Snaking. Meanwhile, they have caught Collapse, though. Cookie to try and repetition. Yutori's gonna be in. Aegis Toss expired as well. Yutori needs to get away from the static link and Spirit. I mean, they're taking incredible team what fights fight. with such a large deficit, and now Amar as well. He's got BKB, but there is no TPR. Yeah. Mirror's punch is still ready to go. Spirit what has always a been a hell of a team at being able to come back in dire situations. Was he there? It was mid. It was mid. Yeah, it was without him. You, I mean, not having your mid laner. Oh, this is great. It? I don't know. No Chrono. Still no Ma, but it, it looks a little bit scary. You are doing a lot of damage to Melrain with the sniper Crit. on the backline, and this kill onto the Tusk is not easy. But now with the Naga back up, is he going to song aggressively? Leave was silent. Skeeter will now use it. Dyer, Might they get need the to Pushka? run. Nice spit away to the right. They've got really good vision here on, on, on Spirit. Really good timing as well. Mid lane, however, is pushing out. So they should know. Jump in early, crit. One team of Pushka, who's been a lot of damage inside the Chronosphere, but the save's going to be there with a the snowball. And will force him deeper in. That's a big he gets snaking, though. Static Storm, at least on his dying breath. It's not the worst ultimate. Meme on the back line as well, Amar's creating chaos, it's not going to matter though to, to help with the task. Amar though, and still Yatori, is he going to be able to find the angle? Got the Chronos Rift already, they're all clumped up, Yatori's going to find out too with the BKBs out as well before the song. Yatori though, wants to turn towards Skeeter. Are they okay now, Falcons? Can you still continue to take the team fight? Tusk is back. With the back line stop, Mira, he's going to be able to catch Skeeter on the escape. The pick connects up to two as well, and again! Team Spirit's team fight execution is beautiful. Are they? Just to, they're not committing to keep though. any tabs. Yeah. Oh. Yutoro's got refresher shot in the backpack and ages as well. So let's see what they're going to be able to do with this. They will give them some respect with the respawns up. Might die though. Is they still have a really strong high ground word on Falcons. Skeeter's just going to charge oh, in. Oh no. 
One skitter. And Yatori is going to be able to connect onto two as well. Yatori, does he have the damage with the assassin on the outskirts? It's not enough. Skid is alive for the moment. It won't matter in the end. But Amara is locked onto the face of his wave. He's got the Aegis. Can put the refresher shot into the inventory. And it's just another bad fight for Falcons. And you buy back on Skeeter, but he will not get there fast enough. This buyback has been used, and like you said, refresher shard as well on Yatoru. Like he has another chrono. He'd be happy to use it on the Naga. Look at Naga. Oh, he okay, he's there. Yatoru! This might Just be Just on outside the range. I think it might be. Die back for Skeeter. And how fast his game has turned. No BKB on him. As Blade Mail maybe can jump the back. But... Amar's yeah. not there. Uh, he's doing something inside the base. So Melwin goes by himself. No buyback to him. Amar against the world. And yet that's all she wrote. Team GG. Spirit. With the incredible comeback. We'll find <laughs> their Spirit. first game victory. Razor's Curse is set from collapse. <laughs> One first night. <laughs> GG. XD.